today we're checking out the brand new episode 67 part 4. This has been an incredible series. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and let's watch the entirety of 67 to showcase the brand new episode 67 part 4. Right now, episode 67 has been absolutely crazy. With four different parts, this is the first time the boom has ever done anything like this. But as you guys know, in episode 67, we went back to the Skibbity headquarters and you can see it was an all out battle. A lot of Skibbity had went down here and a lot of cameramen were eliminated with brand new technology like RPGs that the cameramen had and the speakermen were using. This was definitely an interesting part of 67. We had jetpacks on the cameramen, RPGs, and we even destroyed a police Skibbity. Now this episode is just the beginning because as you can see, a lot of mutant skibbities come out of nowhere to destroy our cameraman friends. But this is the Mafia skibbity with many, many upgrades. As you know, the scientist skibbity has been hard at work. He has destroyed parts of Camera Titan. He has hurt Camera Titan. But it doesn't stop Camera Titan from getting back to revenge and taking a part of a skibbity. Now that same Mafia toilet goes ahead and throws some toxic gas onto our Camera Titan. 67 part 4 is supposed to be one of the most insane episodes because we've seen nothing but craziness in the last 67 parts. So, this is where things get really crazy. This is where we get to see the scientist Skibbity first time ever really close up. And it showcases something very, very interesting for the future parts. Now, what makes this scene so crazy that when part two starts, you know that the Titans are ready for action. He lets them know that he's going down and that he's ready with his buzzsaw to do whatever he needs to do to take out the Skibbity Scientist. Now, as you guys know, the Skibbity Scientist is the most powerful Skibbity toilet. But against two Titans, he really, really struggles. And these are two Titans that are very badly damaged. Right now, the Speaker Titan has no arm blasters. He's doing everything he can to stop the Skibbity Scientist. And of course, the Camera Titan's missing an arm and he replaced it with a buzzsaw. And this is the first time we ever got to see the Skibbity Scientist use his speakers against our good friend, the Elite Plunger Man, which ends up only hurting him. Now, we don't know if he's gone yet. He might be eliminated for good. But as you can see, all our friends are doing work. G-Man also returns in part two, which is crazy because right here we saw the first time ever the Skibbity Scientist using TV technology after he took off the protective lens of Camera Titan. He was going to make him bust on his own face and G-Man's laughing in the background. Part three began. Part three really made things a little bit different because right when G-Man came in and did some damage to Camera Titan, we were able to see, of course, the protective lens coming off. But it's one thing that everyone missed about this specific episode is that the cameramen really believed they were about to lose here until Speaker Titan came in and sort of sawing his own chest with the buzzsaw. And that's when he decided to cut off Camera Titan's own arm. Well, his not real arm. And that's when Speaker Titan realized, wait, I don't have eyeballs. I can just break the TV. And that's when it went really bad. He used the mind control purple TV to control Camera Titan. And we shot the TV, but it did literally nothing. Yeah, high, high, high skibbity scientist. But you know what did break it? Yep, something very big and something very awesome. Our TV Titan has returned from being repaired. After over 20 episodes, the TV Titan is back. G-Man panics. He leaves. It leaves the Skibbity Scientist all alone. All alone to fight this fight. Now, this is where things get a little crazy because even the rocket that the Skibbity Scientist shoots does nothing to the TV Titan. With his brand new upgrades, armor, and of course, new TVs, Skibbity Scientist gets absolutely fried. You can even see him get absolutely destroyed with the saw to his head. But once the TV Titan charges up his front chest, he cooks him. He literally cooks him. But there's a lot of rumors and speculation that this was not the end of the Skibbity Scientist. Even though we got the smiley face, we're missing a little bit of something here. 
as you know, the TV Titan is now the strongest of all the Titans. But what we did not see in this episode was the thumbs up. This is part four, where he gets his protective lens back from the TV Titan. Speaker Titan's like, hey. And of course, TV Titan's mad at Speaker Titan because they haven't seen each other since he was infected. And that's when G-Man returns at reinforcements. These are all brand new mutant skibbities. And as you can see, he's ready for action. If one thing I want to point out later on makes you say to the end, there's something the TV Titan did that we've never seen before right there when he took off. And I'll bring it up after. But this is our first time ever seeing a secret message from the secret agent. We got a direct message. And this is also, look at this, a brand new scientist skibbity, dudes. As you guys saw, that was a scientist skibbity. And we, we just hit our head. But don't worry. We're holding up the door. Everybody in. We found the new scientist skibbity, guys. We thought the scientist skibbity was defeated. But we were wrong. And everyone made it through the door. That's good. That ah! Oh, no. That's bad. We are now in the headquarters. And wait. Elite Plunger Men survived. Elite Plunger Men survived. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. We have the POV of a large cameraman right now. And over there is where the scientist Skibbity ran to. We're going to watch back part four one more time to go over a few things. In this moment right here, you guys see something very different from what we've seen before. Just like when we defeated G-Man in previous episodes and we found out he was not the real G-Man, he looked very robotic inside. There is rumors that this is not the real scientist Skibbity. That this is just a decoy robot made by the scientist Skibbity. There is a possibility that that is true. That is right now a theory. Now you see Camera Titan is very destroyed. He got his protective lens back. And at this moment, Speaker Titan's like, hey dude, remember me? But the last time that the TV Titan saw the Speaker Man was when he was evil. Remember when he was destroying everything and even got into a fight with TV Titan episode 47? Yeah, there's a reason why the Speaker Titan was infected. It's because, well, he's a little bit of a silly goose. And you can see in episode 47 when they were fighting, he did some serious damage to TV Titan. So he's a little bit still hurt about what happened in that episode, even though it was 20 episodes ago. Then something crazy happened. All these skibbities came out of nowhere. And you can see they were ready for action. But at that very moment, we see this. We see the TV Titan with a, a, like a black face, you know, this face right here. And then his other faces on his TVs have different faces. So that means every TV he has on him has different personalities, which is very important to remember because that means each and every TV is individually used. So each one can do different things. So they all don't have to be the same. You see the camera tines already still destroyed. We get a message from the secret agent. We've never seen anything like that before. And at this moment, this right here, this is the scientist skibbity that we all have come to know. This is the OG scientist skibbity. This is one without upgrades on his face. This is one without any upgrades really to him besides the spider, like the spider legs and the jetpack. This is the same type of uh, technology, it looks like, that the glitch toilet has. So this is all very interesting because this sets us up for even a ray gun on top that the scientist Skibbity is not been eliminated. He is still very much alive and he is trying to run away. Inside of the Skibbity headquarters where we barely make it under the door, but we do. Thanks to the speaker holding up the door for us. We've got the speaker, uh, elite speaker man here. And of course, we also have our good old friend, the elite plunger man who survived the explosion somehow. And of course, we did lose a speaker head here. But at the end of the day, we have now come together as a collective to defeat the one thing that's been stopping us. And that is the skibbity scientist. Is this the end of Skibbity? No, this is just the beginning.